to do today today we're gonna make something called tasso most of you probably know already but if you don't know um you can use goat or the dark side of turkey to make tasso all right so i'm talking about the drumstick of the turkey you can use this or or um goat well goat is not easy to find you have to know the specific places to find goat and they don't always have it um the turkey is easier to find so today we're gonna use the turkey we have two ways we can do it um we can either fry it or we can bake it all right i'm gonna use both ways to show you the differences and you can choose whichever way you want to do it when you do it okay tasso to make tasso you need this you know what it is right Make your own spice. If you didn't do, uh, if you didn't watch that video yet, I encourage you to go back and watch it. How to make your own spice. You're gonna need this spice. If you don't have it ready in your kitchen, you can get it ready. You can see the ingredients on the video and then make your own for the one time use. You're gonna need lambs. Lemon lambs, you're gonna need that. Need that. You can buy the bottle if you want, but most likely we like to use the skin. This skin smells good. Take the, uh, bad smell away from the meat all right and then vinegar so today we can eat tasso with, with, with uh, basically everything okay you can make sandwiches with it you can um, make rice and use a tasso or rice you can do that but today we're gonna uh, eat it with fried plantain again if you didn't see that video yet go back and watch it how to make fried plantain. I'm not gonna waste time with showing you this. I'm, I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna not show it again. All right. Um, so that means we have a lot to do today. We have a lot to do today. I'm not gonna talk too much today. I'm gonna get busy. I'm gonna let you watch exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna have to boil some water, okay? So we need, after we clean it, after you clean it well with mostly the skin of the lions, we're gonna use the juice of the lions, put some seasoning in it, plus my spice. You're gonna see how I prepare it, okay? I'll show everything. You see how I set up the camera so you can see everything today. We're not gonna miss anything today. We're gonna see all the details today. All right? I hope you enjoy it while I'm enjoying it myself. Okay. Exactly what I'm doing. So I squeeze the lines juice out of the lines and put it back here so I can clean my meat with it. I need the skin. Remember, the skin is important to clean the meat. Okay. Note, you see, I'm wearing gloves. You need to wear gloves because, you know, the smell of the meat. Get a little bit of this. This one is salty, so I'm not going to use salt. It's up to you if you like a lot of salt, you can use some salt, but I'm using some of this. This one is already salty. If I use this, I don't have to add salt. But if you don't use this, you can put salt. The ground cloves is good. The cloves is good for you. Get some in there. I don't measure stuff like that, okay? I use my common sense. Okay. 
my spice of course so this one I'm gonna use like three big spoon when I say three big spoon I mean three large spoon okay I'm gonna put that in the fridge and then I after actually after see this is what it looks like See the spice. I have my lime juice. See, and my spice in it. And a little bit of lorries. I don't have to add salt. If you don't use lorries, then you can add salt in it. Okay. Now I'm gonna use this. Hmm? I'm gonna clean my feet, my uh, meat. Each piece we use. This one of big pieces. See, use the skin and the inside of it. Scrub the skin on the bone. Get the good smell in there. See the skin? It's really good. Mmm, smell good. The skin is good. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing. And then when I finish to clean this. I'm gonna rinse it out and then pour my hot water on it. Okay? This is what I'm gonna be doing the next couple minutes, okay? Okay. So I already poured some vinegar in my meat. Okay, I put some vinegar in it. I cleaned it with um sorry guys. With the lime, I clean my meat. I will sit down. So now I have my hot water. Okay? I'm gonna put it in hot water to, to clean the second time. So I don't know if you can see me. This is my hot water here. Okay. I have to clean it a second time. I hope you don't mind my plantain being fried. You know that here? That's my plantain being fried. You see that? In hot water. And I'm going to pour the hot water, okay? I'm not going to keep it. Okay, I'm going to pour it in the sink. Now my meat is nice and clean. I put the hot water on it and I, I clean it a second time. It smells good. Okay. And then now I'm gonna pour my spice that I already prepared on it. Okay. Get a piece of meat and clean it. We don't waste anything, okay? <laughs> We're not gonna waste anything. So, this is how we season it. See that? I have to make sure all of it is in the season. And then you let it sit for a couple minutes, sometimes hours, depending. And the best, to be honest with you, the best way to make this is to leave it sit in the spice in your fridge overnight. Okay? If you do that, in the morning, the season is oops, inside of it. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to cook it right away. Okay? Okay. Alright. So, I told you in the beginning, Two ways you can make it either you fry it or you bake it 
So to fry it, we have to steam it first. We're gonna steam it, keep it low um, for maybe 20 minutes, okay? Well steamed, so it's gonna be tender. But if you're not gonna fry it, we're gonna put it straight to the skillet here. This is already clean. So the part I'm not gonna use, I'm gonna just go ahead and put it in here. I'm not gonna fry it, I mean. See, I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna have two parts. I'm gonna bake some of it. Basically, you get the same result, but the one that's baked, your spice is there because you didn't boil it, you didn't lose any of your spice, and no fat, of course. So, whichever way you want, it's still fast, okay? So, this is it right here. I'm gonna bake this part, and I'm gonna fry the other part here. You don't have to make them so big, okay? You can make them smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna get some of my spice for the baking pot to you. Okay, put a little bit there. Okay, all right. And I'm gonna steam this part and bake this part for you, okay? All right. So far so good, can you see it? I hope you can see it. It smells good too, guys. Ooh, it smells good. Okay, this part I'm gonna stay. And I have to cover it too. Okay. 
okay? I don't want people to close with this camera, okay? Wow. Look at him fly. The big one, but to be careful not to touch this with your bare hand. It's still tender, guys. The both tender. You see the big one? This is what it looks like. So tender. I just tasted it. So delicious. And then this is the fried one. Okay. The both is easy to make. side and in this side I have the big one so so you can have pasta without weeklies if you haven't watched it yet uh please go watch it how to make your own weeklies it's on my channel Monique Pacabala to have a complete tasso you have to have the weeklies you can there's no way the weeklies matches with it so Please watch that video so you can make some pieces to put on top of the tassel. It smells so good and it's so tender. I can wait to show you how I'm gonna taste it, guys. Let's go for it. Hey guys, this is the result. This is how I present it, okay? With my plantain and pieces on top of it. Crispy printing. How to make your fried printing? You can 
enjoyed it. I had so much fun. I had so much fun making this. I hope you did too. So try the tasso and comment down below how did you like it. Okay. And um, share, like, comment, and subscribe. If you're watching for the first time, please subscribe. Okay, we have much more coming. I'm not going to tell you now, but we have a lot more coming, okay? Keep watching. Thank you. Bye.